Oh, just gonna close my eyes. Well, what is going on guys? PTS42 here and welcome to Try to Fall Asleep. Now, this is another game that I found over on itch.io, and I guess as far as the backstory goes, we play as John Herring, and apparently we suffered from a pretty bad accident, and it left us with some pretty bad brain damage. And apparently, the only way we can go about fixing ourselves, fixing our brain, is to fall asleep and travel into this dream realm where we can undiscover all of the different past events that have happened in our lives. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and hit play. And we're gonna go over here, and I guess we've got night one So I guess there's gonna be a total of six different nights I don't know if that's just in the demo or in the beta I should say But we're gonna start off with night one, and we're gonna see what this one's all about and hopefully we can you know fall asleep here we go Hello Z switch light Okay, that's a, oh, Z is the light there. switch. Hello. You must be John Heron, right? I am. Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Heron. Uh, yes, nice to My meet name you. My AB. Hi. I'm a medical assistant robot. Oh, my good. My function is to give guidance to my patients. Okay. A supportive presence in case of an emergency. All right. Let's uh, close our eyes. Like oh, I have to hold it. And so on. I was oh. trained by your treatment supervisor, Dr. Rick Norberg himself. Yeah? Okay. So, Mr. God, this is creepy. Like I want to listen to him. Recovering from your physical damages. Thank this you. A huge blast. Yeah, it is. You didn't lose a limb. I didn't. How about that? That's exciting, I know. No limbs hey, have been lost. Now that you have healed from your physical Ugh. damages, we can start to work on your brain damage. Yes, your please. Says that you have memory losses as well as a few brain damages that might cause you to, um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, brain damage. Luckily for you, all those damages can be easily cured. Yeah, like how? Brain damage, you'll just have to sleep and rest. Good. All right. Is the best medicine for your brain, as it is a good state for the brain to naturally oh. heal itself. God, this is so creepy. So just <laughs> oh, seems easy, right? Um. Well, I hope so. Your brain damage might cause you to hallucinate. Uh, oh, a huge problem. Hallucinations. If you want to yeah. Harm, your stress will increase. And a huge stress will give you a cardiac arrest. Oh, a good. Heart. A heart attack. If that occurs, we might not be able to arrive in time to save you from death. Of course so not. Why would you? As best as you can. All right, so All that's right. why we have Let's the stress the meter and the sleep meter. That's so this is kind of like a tutorial. Is your info panel. Okay, yeah, the info panel. I see it. Now, if you could close your eyes and keep them shut for a moment. All right. Now keep them closed for a bit. They're closed. Oh, God, I do not like this at now, all. Open them. Okay. Oh! <laughs> your sleep level just increased. Oh! If you'll fit it up before 4 a.m. You can only hide in the blanket when a hallucination yeah, is close by. I find it fascinating how, uh, boom! Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, dude, our stress high. level is up, dude. He's just standing there in the window. Just like that. This level should be kept as low as possible. Oh! It'll go down if you'll keep your eyes open. Oh, yeah, also, okay. Turning on that lamp will help you. Oh, he's moving! Stress level faster. It is kind of broken. He moved. So try not to overheat the lamp and break it. Yeah. Uh, one last thing. Oh. If a hallucination appears very close, oh. then hide in your blanket. Okay. It'll help you to trick your brain. Okay, I still can't brain. hide. There's no need to stay under the. Oh my god. Oh my so god. When you absolutely need to. Got it. Okay. Looks like we're all set. All right. Close your eyes. Fall asleep. Check on you in the morning. How am I supposed to fall help. asleep, bro? All right, I'm closing my eyes. So that was the tutorial. All right, just check things out a little bit. All right, let's just um go to sleep. Should be should be simple enough, right? Like nothing's gonna when I open my eyes, nothing's gonna be here. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, what is that? What the heck? Can I hide? I can't hide. What the heck does that mean? Bro! Whoa! Oh. Just gonna close my eyes. Go! Oh! oh my. Your stress is too high. Keep your eyes open and turn on the light. Yeah! Okay. Let's do that. 
Thank you, AB. All right, got to turn off the lights. Close my eyes. I have my finger. My finger is on the X button. I am ready to push it if something's right in front of me again. Good God. This is. Oh. Oh, okay. Turning the light on. Turn. Ah! We died. Well, we're back in it again after, you know, we we died. Um, so we're gonna listen to AB. Well, I guess I guess I could mute him, but I'm just gonna sit right here and I'm gonna close my eyes because hopefully nothing bad can happen when I'm, you know, listening to AB and all the good things he has to say. I could, I could mute him and I have no idea how late we have to survive until, I'm guessing until like 6 a.m. So, you know, that's a solid amount of time that we have to survive. But I, I think as long as we fall asleep, that's the goal. That's what we need to do is fall asleep. So if we can get our sleep meter to full, hopefully we should fall asleep. All right, so our sleep meter is almost at 50%. It looks like it was at about like 40%. Oh, I saw his foot. I barely just saw his foot there. Okay, he's probably going to be outside of the window. All right, they're closed. Oh, no! I accidentally clicked out of the game. All right. Ooh, that was scary. All right, there we go. All right, we're super close to falling asleep. We're about like 90%. All right, we got this. I'm focusing in. All right, we're getting there. Come on, baby. I'm playing this as safe as I can. Ooh. Come on. Are we going to fall asleep? We fell asleep! Yes! Okay, so we're dreaming now. So we're entering the dream realm. Kate, hey, are you in the lab now? Uh, yeah. Good, go check out that power generator. It must be the cause of the power shortage. Okay, all right, you go check those wind turbines. Maybe a cable got loose or something. On my way to the generator. Good luck. Okay, so now we're in the, the dream realm. I've never seen this before. Oh, exit the main lab building and locate the power generator. Okay, but where? Where are we gonna do that? Can I open this? No, can't open that. Exit, it told me to exit the lab, so do I like leave the actual, no, it doesn't look like it, okay. Hmm, flesh eating bugs, cool, very cool. Eh, I mean, that's subjective. Uh, nothing is written here, yet, smiley face. Oh, so we're gonna write some, some little message on there for someone to hopefully find. Hopefully it's not our last message, aka, hopefully we uh, don't die in this lab. All right, can we just leave? We can, all right, let's get out of here. OH GOD! What the heck was that thing? Right over this way. There doesn't seem to be anything over here as far as a generator is concerned, so... I have no idea where we're headed or where we're really supposed to go. Man, this is- this is interesting. There's another way for us to go back in here. Okay, I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. Anything back this way? Does this link up to the other side? It might. I mean, surely it does, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. It does link up. Okay. We need to get out of here. I don't- I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to. We can go upstairs, which is probably what we need to do. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna bother just, you know, looking through all the different doors. We're gonna head up. Probably to the roof, I would assume, or to the top floor. Anything in here? Literally nothing. That's locked. That's locked. Okay. Locked. Locked. And let me guess, locked? Oh, nope, it's open. Alright, well, let's go in here. 
And there's nothing in here. Okay. Anything up top on the top floor? Oh! Sh Dude, that thing is fast like nobody else's business. Anything on the table I can read. Dude, that scares you, man. Holy crap, dude. Well, let's make our way down to the second floor and check things out down here. Well, let's keep moving our way down this way. Oh, God, he's behind me. I can hear him. I heard it. Heard the footsteps. Damn. Oh, my. He's watching us. Or something else is watching us. Hey, man. Oh, he's running from us. And he's gone. Good. It's a map of the facility. The generator is right outside the main lab building. Oh my god, so I've been running around just like... And there was a map here that was gonna tell me exactly what I needed to do? I am so smart and so good at video games. Can't you tell? Let's check this out. So we'll go to one of the exits. And it should be... To our right. Over here. Somewhere. Is this it? Is this the generator? Yes! Alright. The fuses are gone. Find the fuses and put them back into the generator. And there's six fuses? Oh my god. Okay. Alright. So now we need to find fuses. I have no idea where we're gonna be able to find said fuses. Like, is that a fuse right there? Flee. Whoa. Whoa. Flee. What does that mean? I can't see! Oh! Flee from what? What is happening? Where did I- I just got transported. OH SH- <laughs> Ah. I get it. And so that was a fuse. And our stress level is now up by one. So I'm guessing if that hits three, we're probably gonna die. Well, at least now we know what the fuses look like, so we can keep an eye out for those. And I guess every time we pick up a fuse, we're going to be um, tossed into one of those situations where we have to run or do something else. There's another one. I think this is a fuse. Yeah, that's a fuse. All right, let's try this out. Flee. All right. We need to somehow escape this place. All right, I'm, I'm trying to see. Hopefully I don't accidentally like run into him. All right, we're running pretty straight. Oh God, did we do it? We did. All right, that's a success. All right, so I think I pretty, pretty much checked the uh, remaining uh, parts of the outside area. So I guess next we need to go through all of the rooms again and potentially find a um you know another fuse so we're gonna just i guess run around until we can find more of them so yay oh here we go here's another fuse right here just just sitting here let's grab it here we go flee yep oh my god come on right in front of me that's not cool, man. And now we're really stressed out. One more and we are done for. Is this a fuse? Yes, it is. All right. Hopefully, you know, I don't... Yep, he's right there. He's freaking right behind us, bro. And I think... Yeah, he got us and we died. That's just unfortunate. Because he spawns... In... He spawns in front of us and there's not really anything I could do to get away from him if he spawns in front of us. And that... That's gonna... Bring us back to the beginning. Oh, God. Does it at least save our progress in the dream? No, it doesn't. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, so as you can see, I made my way through the whole sleeping phase and entered the dream realm. And I know that monster is chasing me. Just gonna try to get this. There we go. Okay, so now... Okay, the fuses are gone and the monster got us. Yes, fuses are gone. Find the fuses and put them back in the generator. Yes, okay. So now we are kind of back where we were. Um, except for the fact that I need to find all of the fuses again, or at least 
three of the fuses uh, because that's the amount of fuses that we actually had. Now, I don't know if they're in the same area or not. This one's in a pretty similar location as the one we already found in the past, but we know what we need to do. We need to click this thing and run away from the monster and not get caught by it. And apparently the monster likes to run in front of us. So hopefully we don't loop back on ourselves like this. Oh, oh God. Oh, sh no, this is bad. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh God. All right, is this the exit? Yes, okay. We made it out, stress-free, perfect. So that's one out of six. Now we only need to do that five more times. Sounds easy enough, right? No. It's not. Okay, so I do think the fuses are in the same location. Whew. Fuse number two. Let's do this. I'm running. I'm running. Please don't be in front of me. All right. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Is this the exit? Come on. It's a long corridor. Nope. Nope. Where even are we? You know, like, where is this place? Oh, come on. Okay, we made it. We made it out. We made it out. Okay, so that's two of six. All right, third time's a charm. Let's do this. Flee. All right, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best to try to escape this place. I don't like that. I'm turning around. I might regret that. Might not. We're going this way. Come on, come on. Get me out of here. Please be the exit. Yes. Okay, so that's three out of six. We're halfway there. Okay, now we just need to find three more fuses. I don't know where these fuses are because we actually have not made it this far. So it's going to be a lot more exploring in this facility, even though we kind of already did explore it all the way through before we needed to actually find the fuses. But, you know, it gives us a better understanding of where these fuses might be possibly be so I'm I don't think there's gonna be any more fuses on on this bottom floor there's probably gonna be a fuse on each of the floors just one so I think that's just about everything let me run down this way real quick ah there's a fuse right here okay <sighs> let's do this flee I'm ready going this way all right hopefully we lost him hopefully he doesn't know where to look for us all right we're running that's the best thing we can do that's not an exit come on baby this has got to be an exit right nope it's not an exit just running for my life until we find the exit just like that okay so that's four of six so we're doing a lot better this time around and that makes me a very very happy boy so we're gonna run upstairs to the second floor see if we can potentially find Two more fuses, because that's all we need, and hopefully we could get the heck out of here. What about in here? Nope, that's the bathroom. What about this one? That one's locked. Ah, okay, and there is a fuse right next to the newspaper. Whew. Let's do this. Here we go. We're running. Oh my! He spawns right in front. Literally right in front of me. I mean, that's okay, because I guess we, we still get the fuse. All right, we're going to check all of these rooms again. I hope we can do this because getting back to this point is actually really difficult. It's very challenging and this game is absolutely awesome. Like, don't get me wrong. It's amazing and challenging and just actually like really fun. Like, it's, I love the concept. It's really good. Um, and I'm really actually enjoying the crap out of it. And if I remember, there's going to be a monster that comes running after me. Yep. I can hear him. Yep, he's right behind me. I'm just gonna run around the table for a little bit because he can't catch me. Oh god! <laughs> He's too smart, man. The monster's a little too smart for my liking. And we do have the final fuse right here. Okay, gonna try not to get caught this time. Let's do it. I'm gonna turn around and run the opposite direction. Haha, <laughs> I didn't see. Oh! I was gonna say didn't see that one coming, but I guess you saw it coming from a mile away. So, um, good. And if we get caught again... We're probably going to die from a cardiac arrest. So let's make our way outside and um, put these fuses back into the generator. Nothing's going to stop me. Plop these things in here and hopefully this gets us out of here. All right, it's on. Generator's on and running. Uh, hey, I'm in the lab. I see the power's back on. Did you fix the generator? 
Yeah, but it's odd. Yeah. What's odd? Uh, the fuses were just scrambled all over the place. I had to go find them and put them back. Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah, that's weird. We should, we should better get out of here. I'll wait for you in the entrance lobby and the lab. Okay. All right. Be there shortly. I'm right there. Uh, Kate. Oh, good. I heard screams. Oh, God, there's Kate. Oh! What just happened? Kate, are you all right? I can't move. Kate! Oh, no, Kate. She's dead. Oh, no. I've got to warn the others. Oh, no, dude. So this is one of our past memories for sure. Oh, we're waking up. It's morning time. 7 a.m. Are we healed anymore? I hope so. That was a really weird dream that we had, but... You know, it had to be a past memory. Oh, and I guess that that is it. Thank you for playing the TTFA beta. Please read if you care. Well, obviously I care because I enjoyed the crap out of this one. Alrighty then, guys. So this has been Try to Fall Asleep. And my God, this game was an absolute blast. The scares were on point. The ambience, just the entire concept, the entire game was absolutely amazing. If you guys decide you do want to play this game for yourself, which I highly advise you do so, I'm going to leave a link to the game down in the description, so definitely go check it out. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, definitely be sure to leave a like on this video. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. But with all that stuff said, you guys, I will see you in the next video. So until then, keep on being stellar. Wah.